All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the Lord know as Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who we learn this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the hopefully elect. You know, and I got this article right here. It's from abc7.com. It says over 2,000 Indiana residents ordered to evacuate after fire ignites at recycling plant. Hey, you know, that, hey, that judgment of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You see, now the Lord had a fire break out at this plant, and 2,000 people you know, got to evacuate their homes. Now they got to find another, you know, source of living, you see? Because, hey, people don't just have extra homes out here. Now they got to, you know, if they ain't got it, they got to go live with relatives or get hotel room until further notice. But, uh, but continuing on, hey, some may even have to sleep in their car. It said more than 2,000 residents are under an evacuation order after a large fire broke out. Tuesday afternoon at a Indiana recycling plant, officials said. I'm just going to scroll down. Yep. It says, at a Tuesday evening press conference, Indiana Street Fire Marshal Tim Jones said the smoke is definitely toxic and said that as the winds change, they may have to change their evacuation parameters as well so hey you're gonna have to move around man yeah if it start blowing to the east yeah you gotta go west now they start blowing west you gotta go hey south or, or north or back east hey <laughs> hey the lord cold man that's how toxic that this the, this smoke is man they a recycling plant so you know it ain't nothing but plastic and all type of fumes formaldehyde and hey man all oh, this is under the watch of the devil. That's why we need the Lord Yahweh Shah to return. Because if not, hey, we'll, hey, it's a all flesh will be dead, man. Hey, he'll kill everybody. You know, roughly paraphrasing. But all oh, this is just judgment of the Lord. And this is um, 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. And hey, we're living in the last days. And we can tell by the way of the prophecies lining up. World War Three being talked about by ex presidents and 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 former presidents in these other countries. Russia threatened to melt the concrete over here in America. Um, the dollar is failing. Hey, the momentum is going digital. Everybody is making a CBDC. Hey, that's how we know that we're in the last days. <clears throat> hey, that Karagma is on the way. You see. That's why I say perilous times shall come in the last days. And, and that's a perilous situation to be in a hard, devout situation. You see, for those 2,000 people. Probably more than that. You see? But all that is a form of judgment of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh It's Isaiah 29 and verse 6. Yep. It says, Thou shalt be visited of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. And we've seen all these things take place. Hey, the Lord been having, hey, it's an earthquake daily. You can Google it. It's a, um, just look up earthquakes. It'll show you uh, earthquakes that's, that's happening probably right now, you know. Uh, these thunderstorms that the Lord been sending, these tempests, these great tornadoes been going through, ripping through these cities. You see, these are those perilous times, man. If, it, if it's not a tornado, if it's not a storm, a weather disaster, it's a plant burning down. If it's not a plant burning down, it's a recall on your food. If it's not a recall on your food, it's war talk. Somebody getting bombed and killed. You see, these are the times we're living in. And as it says, it said, and the flame of devouring fire. And that was a devouring fire that the Lord sent upon that place. Now, got, now I got people, 
got to evacuate their homes and, 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 and relocate, go find somewhere safe to stay. And then it said, if the winds pick up and they start blowing those toxic smoke, you might have to relocate from your location area, from your, you know, from the new relocation area. Hey, this, hey, this all judgment of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You see? It's Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. You see? So, hey, there was a spirit of vengeance created by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And it appeased the Heavenly Father to burn that plant down and not all those people got to evacuate their home. You see? As a matter of fact, I just want to look this word of appease. It's a lot. Yep, just to um, add a month online for the word appease to reconcile it say to pacify, make peace, to bring peace. <laughs> hey, so the Lord, he was very pleased, you know, with this act. He brought peace until you how about Shema Shah to burn that plant down. Now you out of your home and gotta find somewhere to stay, man. And here goes some of the spirits that was created. It said fire. You see, that was the first thing. Fire. And and that's what this article is going into. Uh, spirits created for vengeance and it was fire man he said in hell and famine and death all these were created for vengeance you see so hey, all these things were created for vengeance to uh, appease Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and fire and that's what it's about man about you know the Lord burning down that plant in Indiana man I ain't want to make this too long. I'm going to get ready to close it out right here. This Ecclesiastical Sirach 36 and 1. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, of all, and behold us. You see? And that's our hope that the Lord have mercy upon us. Because, hey, we see now every day the Lord is is is, is doing some train derailments. Hey, it's like in all states now. Hey, they derailing down here in Birmingham. We just had a brother put it in the group chat where, um, Think a train with cars in the back just caught on fire. We didn't had toxic spills on the on the uh, interstate. We had a train derailment in Alabama, man. And that and, and something like this could um could happen in our area. And you know we pray that the Lord will have mercy upon us. You see, and it says, and send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. See, it say all nations. Hey, you so-called Israelites, two-thirds of our people. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Yahweh by Shema Shah is going to send his fear upon you as well. As uh, Esau, Edom, the number one, you know, on, on the list, man. Uh, and all the rest of the heathen nations, Moab, Ammon, fucking Ishmael, Elam. The Lord finna send his fear upon all you people, man. He say, lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power. And they really going to see the Lord's power, especially when all hell break loose. This just is beginning. Wait till World War Three pop off and that Karagma really be implemented out here. Everything go digital. Then, then the Karagma get pushed. You see, hey, that's what we're hoping for. We can't wait till these things happen because guess what? Our Lord Yahweh Shah is going to be even closer. And it says, as thou was sanctified in us before them, so be thou magnified among them before us. And let them know thee as we have known thee, that there is no power, but only thou, O Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You see, so hey, all you people is finna get ready to know Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai very soon. Because everything that the prophets has been speaking on, hey, for decades, hey, you, hey, we see it coming to pass. That vision is yet for an appointed time, and now is that appointed time, man. It's just a matter of time for the Lord pull the plug on America, and all hell break loose. And you're gonna know that it was Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, 
And those men on the street corner when just bugged out. They knew what they were talking about. But it's going to be too late. So, hey, seek the Lord early while he may be found. For the famine of the word come and all hell break loose. So, hey, Lord willing, this video is edifying to you, brothers and sisters. I want to end it by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who we learn this truth from. And shalom to the hopefully elect.